In today's world of market volatility and uncertainty, your retirement plans need to be front and center. With ever-changing tax laws, healthcare worries, and an unpredictable stock market, don't overlook the vulnerability in your retirement planning. Protecting your family and estate will be difficult with shifting policies in Washington. It's more important than ever to keep an eye on retirement. Hi, and welcome into Eye on Retirement. I'm Rick Everett alongside our Market Advisory Group panel. And today, we're looking at what happens when your retirement plans change. When you have your retirement date set, but circumstances cause you to move that date up, what needs to be done to facilitate that change? That's exactly why we've gathered a team of professionals for this episode. Today, our panel includes Larry Clefcorn, financial advisor and founding partner at Market Advisory Group. Lauren Dietz, enrolled agent from Market Tax Services. Jenna Moody, paralegal from Eidelman Law Firm. And Trey Vassa, healthcare advisor from Market Medicare Advisors. Welcome in, everyone. Larry, in this episode, we're going to be talking about one of your clients, and we'll call him Oscar. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with Oscar's retirement plan. Well, uh, Oscar's been a uh, client for 64, uh, s since he was 64. And uh, let me change that. He's currently 64. He's been with us since 2021. Okay. And uh, we work, uh, he works for a manufacturer, airplane manufacturer here in town. Uh, and his plan all along from the very beginning as we met and began to uh, uh, discuss his future, was to work two to three more years. And, um, and that's, when I say two to three more years, that's two to three more years more from now because he wanted to finish a project that they had. Uh, he enjoyed his work. He even expressed the fact that he liked the team that he worked on. And um, so... He, we, last time we met, we'd, we talked about the fact that there was going to be a merger with his company, and he felt that it wasn't going to affect him. He wasn't worried about it. But about, um, uh, a few, well, two or three months after that, I received an email from him, and he was saying, I know we have a meeting coming up, and here's what I'd like to discuss. And he told, told me then in the email that he wanted to look at possible retirement. And so um, in, in doing that, um, we decided to review his current plan and the plan was showing it was fitting like a glove. Everything was going exactly according to the way we, we had planned it and that made him feel good, of course. Um, now, part of that was going to be steady lifetime income, and that was important to him, okay? And uh, he also had asked about taxes in this particular meeting. Um, that's not unusual to come up, and when it does come up, there's something special we do about that, don't we, Rick? <laughs> we do indeed. Lauren Dietz with Market Tax Services. What was Oscar's concerns as they pertain to taxes? Sure. So Oscar was really just concerned about how taxes were going to change in retirement. Um, he talked about how all of the money that he's contributed so far has all been pre-tax dollars to his 401k. Um, moving into retirement, without all of those wages, he was actually going to be moving down into a lower tax bracket um, and start withdrawing from that 401k. But then he was also going to be beginning Social Security. Um, so we had to talk about how that was going to affect his other income. So with every dollar that he takes out of that 401k was going to cause more of that of his Social Security benefit to become taxable. Now it does cap out at 85 percent of his benefit. But that was definitely something that we were wanting to plan around to try to mitigate those taxes as much as possible. Um, we also did talk about how laws have changed for Kansas, so he doesn't have to worry about that on the Kansas side with the Social Security anymore, which was a big win. Um, and then we also just discussed how we set up his withholdings. Basically, every pot of money that he's going to be drawing from 
we needed to make sure that it was paying the tax that was due. Each bucket covering itself tax Yeah, basically wise, so just everything needed to take care of itself. <laughs> Very good. Larry, um, what was Oscar's Medicare situation? You said he was 64. Yes. Is he going to be 65 before he retires? Um, slightly, uh, <laughs> but you know, the, the plan all along was he thought he was gonna be working and so he wouldn't need to rely on Medicare. Uh, but now, all of a sudden, I wouldn't call it panic stage, but he suddenly realized he needs to get his ducks in a row. He needs to learn as much as possible about that, and that was something urgent. We actually set an appointment for him right then and there. Trey Vasa, Market Medicare Advisors, your role in helping Oscar. Sitting down with Oscar, we had to move pretty fast to quell any you know, fears or, or stress that this situation was causing him. So when we sat down and, and we started talking with Oscar, um, we had to figure out what exactly he wanted to do on Medicare, because you have the supplement plans or the Advantage plans, and that's the first big hurdle somebody has to clear in order to move forward with everything else. And, and sitting down with Oscar, we, we figured it out and we got the gears in motion just to you know, better prepare him for when he does turn 65 and when things do happen with his work. So Larry, Oscar came in feeling a bit scattered and worried uh, prior to the meeting. Yes. How did he feel after the meeting? Well, you know, um, he said it in this way. He said, we have a date. We actually have a date now. And um, what he meant by that was when he came in and sat down, he wanted to know when he could actually exit his work. And uh, he, he was summarizing there. I have a date now, and he was very happy. You know, things are always in flux, and Oscar decided to move up his retirement date because of a merger. But he could have had to move it back because of a market dip or an illness. You never know what life's going to throw at you. But fortunately, Oscar has a team in place to help him figure out what changes needed to be made. Do you have a team in place? All it takes is a 15-minute introductory call to see if Market Advisory Group is the right team for you. To set up that 15-minute phone call, just dial 833-MAG-REPORT. That's 833-MAG-REPORT. Or you can visit our website at ionretirement.com. There you can also check out past episodes where we focus on different client stories where retirement went wrong. Stay tuned. In the next segment of Eye on Retirement, we go to our money monitor to dive deep into taxes. And we'll be right back after this. Out on the water, there is a moment. Perfect synchronization. The team working together in harmony to reach their goal. Now, Imagine finding a team of financial professionals to help run your course down the river of retirement. Market Advisory Group is that team. Financial advisors, tax professionals, estate planning attorneys, and Medicare advisors. All in the same boat. If you don't have a team like this in one place, it can become a hassle to relay information between them. When you come to Market Advisory Group, we bring everyone together for you. To get you answers in real time. To help make sure you don't miss something that puts your unique plan off course. You shouldn't be the one doing all the work to keep your retirement on pace. You should have a team in the boat with you your voice telling them where you're at, where you'd like to end up, and how you want to get there. And at that point, everyone falls into sync, all pulling in the same direction, toward the same purpose. Your retirement's financial security. We are Market Advisory Group. Proud sponsor of Shocker Rowing.
Hi, and welcome back into Ion Retirement. We're here at our Money Monitor with Lauren Dietz to talk a little bit about taxes. Lauren, often in our conference rooms when we're meeting with people, they're under the impression that if they are in, say, the 12% tax bracket, that that's the amount of taxes they're going to pay on every dollar. But that's not exactly the case, is it? That's right, Rick. So if we take a look here, we really want to look at the tax brackets like a bucket system. So you've got your 10% bracket here on the very top left. Um, and then after that fills all the way up, then only those dollars that spill into those next buckets and those next buckets are going to be taxed at those higher rates. Um, so this presents us with a really good tax planning opportunity when people are in these, these 10 and 12 percent brackets. 2026, we're not going to see those rates anymore. So a lot of times when we're speaking to people that are trying to get some of their money out of those pre-tax accounts, we talk about doing a Roth conversion when they're in those small brackets because mm -hmm. you might as well utilize it while you can. So what I hear you saying is that by meeting with this team, they can safely convert traditional dollars to Roth dollars without accidentally pushing them into the next tax bracket. Absolutely. So we like to sit down with our clients, usually in the fourth quarter of the year, just to do an analysis. We'll do an exercise with them where we basically just play with those numbers and we get to a point where they're comfortable with the tax that they're going to go ahead and pay now at this lower rate. So that way they're not having to pay it at 20 to 25 percent in the future. Lauren, there's been a lot of recent changes with inherited or sometimes they're called beneficiary IRAs. What exactly is a beneficiary IRA? Sure. So a beneficiary IRA is going to be a traditional IRA that you inherit from, say, a parent, a brother or a sister, or a cousin or something like that. Um, they are traditional IRAs, but they are treated a little bit differently. They've got some different rules around them. So the law was changed in 2019, and it has since changed a couple of more times to just make everybody's life easier. Okay. Right? <laughs> um, but the old law was that they could stretch out taking that money out of the out of that benefic beneficiary IRA for the rest of their life. Well, 2019 it changed to a 10-year rule. And so for example, we have a client who somebody died in 2019 with these rule changes, we haven't had to they haven't had to take any money out. But these people in 2019 that that inherited this IRA still only have 10 years from that date. So they've only got five years left to take all of that money out. And so we go back to the buckets and we, we look at, even though you don't need to take that money out, should we maybe still take some of that out now when, when the tax rates are lower versus when they're going to be higher and then you've got to take a larger chunk of money out. Uncle Sam needs us to take that money out, right? <laughs> Uncle Sam wants his piece of the pie, doesn't he always? <laughs> Very good. You know, all of these things that affect retirement get so complex. Income taxes affecting Medicare costs, taxes affect estate planning. There's a push and a pull of this and that that can siphon money off your nest egg if you don't have a team working together. Market Advisory Group is that team. And to set up a 15-minute phone consult, just give us a call at 833-MAG-REPORT. That's 833-MAG-REPORT. Or check out our website at ionretirement.com. There you can also watch past episodes or submit a question for us to possibly answer in a future episode. In the next segment of Ion Retirement, we answer a couple of those viewer questions, and we'll do so right after this. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no-obligation, 
full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go, and who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review today. Hi, and welcome back into Eye on Retirement. For this segment, we're going to get into some viewer questions. And if you have a question about retirement that you'd like answered, head on over to ionretirement.com and click Submit Question. Our first question today comes from Patty G. And Patty asks, if you own your own home, is there anything you can do to protect your home if you need to go into a nursing home prior? Jenna Moody with Eidelman Law Firm. I believe this may be a, an estate planning question. So. It sounds like it. It sounds like it. So um, to answer that question, I'll tell you, I've worked with a lot of attorneys in the past over the years, and their favorite saying is, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes, there are um, things that we can do. We can have advanced planning, discussions, strategies that we can put into place. We can preserve assets. We can preserve a home with enough time. But you have to really kind of think about it before you're stepping into the nursing home. So the attorney wants to have the conversation early on, but it's not just the attorney that we have to have the conversation with. Because when we're talking about protecting assets over you know, a long period of time, because we need to have a five-year look back, that's a long time to have to you know, need to use those assets before you step into a nursing home. And so maybe it's not just the home that we're trying to protect. You know, what if there are other assets as well that they want to look at? We need to have conversation with the financial advisors. We need to be making sure that we're looking at those assets and seeing if they're appropriate to be able to preserve. And so we also then need to be bringing in the tax advisors because maybe some of those assets would be appropriate, but they gotta have the taxes paid on them first. Mm. And then we need to be having a conversation with, how are your family dynamics? You, in order to protect assets, in order to preserve them, you have to relinquish control over those assets. And a lot of people are not necessarily comfortable with that. And so when we start talking about this, you know, how do we preserve assets? How do we protect them? How do we make sure that we, they pass to the next generation? It's a very involved conversation and it, re it requires a whole team. It's not just one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you, Jenna. Uh, the next question comes from Dave W. And he asks, what is an investment where you can withdraw without penalty? Larry Clefcorn, founding partner, Market Advisory Group. I'll defer to you for this one. Well, um, that's a pretty broad question in a sense uh, because many investments, they allow for full liquidity and others allow for withdrawals or distributions without penalty. Uh, but there are some you need to be very aware of uh, in terms of what, you know, the the withdraws how they're treated. Uh, those that have penalty often have some kind of provision that has a little bit of liquidity. And uh, one of the things that, that happens is uh, when you turn 59 and a half, then you can reach in and take a full withdrawal generally from a retirement account. So whenever there's a retirement account involved that you're wanting to take uh, withdrawals from, uh, be mindful that you need to be at least 59 and a half to do that to avoid an IRS penalty. Uh, something, when we start thinking about other accounts that are, um, are fully 
liquid and mm -hmm. that you can take without penalty at any time, generally stocks. And, and by the way, most of these uh, examples would be something not in a retirement account, but if you're over 59 and a half, then a, a, like I said before, it, it still can be in a retirement account, but stocks are generally, uh, they don't have a time horizon on them usually. Uh, mutual funds, most of the time, those are going to be able to uh, have withdrawals. Um, something I like a lot are exchange traded funds. We call them ETFs. Um, and most of the time they're fully liquid. Um, and then there are uh, annuities. Now, I always explain to people that annuities, that is a vast universe, a vast universe. I personally only like to use a pie shape. Okay, just a pie shape of that vast universe of annuities because there are some annuities, for instance, that are fully liquid. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't visit with Trey Vasa from Market Medicare Advisors. And uh, there is a window in the Medicare world that is about to open. And so tell us about this open window opportunity. Probably the one thing I can brag about in the office is I have this one constant, and that is the annual enrollment period, October 15th through December 7th. You can mark your calendars every year for that time period, and that is where we sit down with all of our current Medicare clients and we talk about changes that are coming to the Medicare system as a whole, re-examine prescription drug plans, Medicare Advantage plans, and essentially set them up for the next calendar year. Again, that's October 15th through December 7th that we sit down with everybody that we're currently working with and even newer clients, just educating them on Medicare and what, what potential changes are coming from 2025. So Trey, when people are considering October's arrival and uh, market Medicare advisories services as far as can they come in and just get a tune-up or a once-over to see if everything they have lined out is the absolute best plan they can be on? Ideally, it's a 30-minute chat. They come in, we have a quick conversation about those changes to 2025, and then we sit down and say, is it working? Is there something better for next year? And it's a, it's a really easy yes or no question. Considering what changes are coming, to plans, to the system as a whole, we can be very objective about what plan will work for, say, a client's list of scripts. Obviously, some are going to be cheaper than others on this plan, or this premium's gonna be higher than another. We can objectively sit down and take a look at those plans and say, hey, this is what I think is going to be the best fit considering your list of scripts and the availability of these plans in your area. Jenna Moody, I want to circle back to you on something that you brought up in our conversation. And I was wondering if you might be able to provide a little bit more clarity to our viewership on what exactly is that five-year look back that you re referenced for us. Okay, so the five-year look back um, is I'm talking about when you're looking at long-term care, when you're looking at um, going into a nursing home, and you are spending your, you know, most people when they start out, a lot of people are self-pay. You know, they're paying for their care out of their pocket and they're thinking, okay, I don't wanna spend all of everything that I have on my care, what can I do? And so we're talking about estate planning strategies at that point of how to preserve, but anything that you give away five years prior to Medicaid having to step in to pay the bills, Medicaid's gonna look at all of those assets that you've had over the last five years. Did you give anything away? Did you put your house into your kid's name? I mean, I hear that all the time. Oh, I just gave my house to my kid, I put it in their name. <laughs> um, so I'd love to talk a little bit more about you know, that with people when they tell me those things because Medicaid is going to look at those things and they're gonna say, if you gave these assets away, you have to get them back oh, nice. or you're penalized for them. So we definitely wanna have that conversation, the earlier, the better. And it, is it a Medicaid trust and a living revocable trust, two separate animals? So um, we are, we do a revocable trust, it's a living trust. Um, there's all kinds of trust really, right. honestly. 
But then that asset protection trust, it's not just about Medicaid. That's a, that's a small piece. So we don't call it a Medicaid trust. We call it an asset protection trust. And it's because they're preserving assets for the next generation. And so that doesn't always just include from the government. Very good. Yeah. It would appear if you've been viewing with us for the last half hour, if you don't have a complete team working for you, you could be at risk. When you have issues with retirement, it can feel a little bit by being lost in space. Sometimes there's very little room for error and any little mistake could be your downfall. Market Advisory Group is here to help when your distress call comes in. And if you'd like to set up that 15 minute introductory phone call with Market Advisory Group, please reach out right now at 833-MAG-REPORT. That's 833-MAG-REPORT. Or do so at our website, ionretirement.com. And if you'd like to see more episodes, search for Ion Retirement on YouTube. There, we're answering more questions and we highlight common pitfalls in retirement. That's all the time we have for this week. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Rick Everett, along with the entire panel, reminding you that we're here to keep an eye on retirement. Unless otherwise indicated, all client and prospect names mentioned on this show have been changed to protect the identities of the individuals discussed. Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. The content provided is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of Foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns are not indicative of future results. Each individual investor situation is different and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transacts business in the states where it is registered or excluded or exempt from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by security regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. No legal or tax advice is provided. Always consult with a tax professional. Legal services are offered by Eidelman Law Firm. Tax services offered by Market Tax Services. Market Advisory Group does not provide legal or tax advice. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not in any way refer to investment advisory products. Rates and guarantees provided by insurance products and annuities are subject to the financial strength of the issuing insurance company, not guaranteed by any bank or the FDIC. The guest commentators featured in this show are not investment advisor representatives of foundations and do not provide advisory services. Market Advisory Group does have several investment advisor representatives that can provide such services. This is not endorsed or affiliated with any U.S. government agency, the Social Security Administration, or associated with any federal Medicare program. We do not offer every plan available in your area. Any information we provide is limited to those plans we do offer in your area. Please contact Medicare.gov or 1-800-MEDICARE to get information on all of your options. A Roth conversion may not be suitable for your situation. The primary goal in converting retirement assets into a Roth IRA is to reduce the future tax liability on the distributions you take in retirement or on the distributions of your beneficiaries. The information provided is to help you determine whether or not a Roth IRA conversion may be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Please review your retirement savings, tax, and legacy planning strategies with your legal slash tax advisor to be sure a Roth IRA conversion fits into your planning strategies. All rights reserved.